Hi guys! Again, this is your coach, Online Rakitera. Gusto ko lang gumawa ng video tips lang na gusto kong i-share sa inyo on how you can choose your niche. So choosing your niche as a VA or virtual assistant is really important step in establishing your career here. What I can suggest is you need to assess your skills and your experience. So as for me, you can go ahead and list down all your experiences and interests. You can also consider your past job experience. You can reflect on your previous jobs wherein you accept. So this can really help you identify on what niche you can choose as a VA. Another thing is you need to identify your interest. You really need to think about what you enjoy the most. So if there's something that is you are really passionate about, let's say specific industry, ganyan, you can go ahead and choose that niche as your guidance in choosing what kind of niche you wanted to choose. Next is you can also research market demand. Look into industry that is currently growing wherein they need virtual assistance. This could include like e-commerce, real estate, or social media marketing. You can also browse the job boards like the platform wherein we can find direct clients like yung Upwork, onlinejobs.pa, freelancer, or Fiverr. Just for you to see what are, what kind of services that is really high demand. Next is you need to analyze other VE. I mean to say you need to evaluate the situation you're currently in, which is the industry of virtual assistant. So for this one, you can find the unique angle of yourself on how you can differentiate yourself from others that has the same niche na napili mo. Next is you can test the waters. So for this one, you can consider applying for different kind of jobs. Tapos parang itetest mo lang yung sarili mo on what certain task um, na ini-enjoy mo or wherein you can excel before committing fully. Next is you need to think long term. Let's say you have future opportunities to come. Meaning, you need to choose a niche wherein it has long-term potential growth and yung skills development mo talaga is maga upskill wherein you can learn new skills, enhance your existing one. At the same time, you keep engaging and interesting para sa sarili mo. Next is what you can do, you can network with other fields. You can join VA communities. Yung mga Facebook group, uh, virtual assistant, you can join those groups. You can engage with your co-virtual assistant then when it comes uh, on how you can start your, your aspiring VA, how I can find a niche that is really appropriate sa interest ko. This networking can really provide you insight or guidance on what specific niche that is really trending nowadays. Kasi there's a lot of VA na ngayon. Marami ka na competition Next is you need to stay flexible. Open-minded ka when it comes to adjusting your niche. Depende sa magiging demand ng interest ng client mo. Kasi as you gain more experience, adaptability is really important. Why? Because you may find new interests or opportunities in different area that is aligned with your capabilities. Then once you're already decided on what niche, who wanted to pursue, you need to set clear goals, make a decision, and then make a commitment. You need to invest time in learning the process, the skill set. You can consider taking courses, but I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of free courses. There's a lot of content creator na gumagawa ng mga content sa YouTube, ganyan. You can also do research sa Google on how you can upskill your skills. That is really relevant sa niche na napili mo. By carefully evaluating your skills, um, your interests, and also the market opportunity, I'm really sure, guys, that you can choose the niche that is really aligned sa strength mo and also sa passion mo. So once you're able to find your niche, that's for sure, guys, you'll be successful sa virtual assistant career mo. So yun lang, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!